वेलकम टू यू वंस अगेन इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश आरबीएनबी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर एंड यू आर वाचिंग अ वीडियो ऑन द यूसेस ऑफ पंक्चुएशन मार्क एस्पेशली कॉमा एंड कैपिटलाइजेशन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सीन द यूसेस ऑफ फुल स्टॉप और विच इज आल्सो नोन एज इन इन अमेरिकन इंग्लिश a how it call in a different names like period so so far as this comma is concerned why comma is important is because if you put the comma at the different place the meaning become changed and here is the example for you there are two examples in the first example is like this my brother who is a doctor has gone to america full stop the second sentence is my brother comma who is a doctor comma has gone to america full stop so in the second sentence the two commas are used that is the first is after brother and the second one is after doctor but the meaning become changed in the first sentence the speaker may have uh, several brothers maybe two maybe three maybe four but in the second sentence it clarifies that the speaker of the sentence has a brother that is my my brother comma who is a doctor that means he is going to tell about that specific brother that particular brother has gone to america so if we shift the change the comma or if we uh, never give the comma it change the meaning of sentence so here the punctuation mark plays very vital role in written communication as the stress and intonation plays the important role in the verbal communication now in this video especially this video is focused on uses of comma and uses of capital letters or capitalization we say the first use of comma is to separate words and word groups that is the series we can say series of three or more items related to the same group for example when i say i bought pen comma pencil comma several books comma and a compass from the stationery so all of these things they are related to the stationery so after every item we have to give comma or we can say the king divides his kingdom among his wife comma son comma and a daughter here you know, again notice that these three person belong to the same family so comma is given okay so this is the first use we can say but you have to remember that before the last item use comma plus and oblique r so this construction you have to remember the second use of comma is to separate clause or clauses and phrases for example on arriving at hyderabad comma she found that she had lost her purse full stop or uh, we say i hope you had a nice stay in our hotel comma said the manager here in these two sentences two separate clauses or phrases are separated by using comma the third use of comma is to separate interjections 
and introductory words or we can say phrases for example because uh, interjections when we are surprised we say wow exclamatory mark then put comma wow comma the sound really exciting or we say well comma what do you think question mark or we say by the way comma you have read today's newspaper full stop so in this way the comma is used to separate we can say uh, interjections or introductory words or phrases from the sentence the fourth use of comma is to separate tag question from the sentence for example he is a teacher comma isn't he so this comma separates question tag from the sentence the question tag may be positive may be negative positive sentence has negative question mark while negative sentence contains positive uh, question tag which you already studied at the different levels of your study the next use of comma is to separate adjective clause or adjective clauses the, the, uh, if they are uh, joined by the connectors what is connectors that is two clauses are joined by connect by the word the word is known as connector for example and or but for example tushar is a strong comma clever comma and healthy boy in the class here the adjectives are used which the, with the help of comma the three qualities of tusha is uh, are described that he is a strong he is a clever and he is a healthy so to uh, differentiate these three adjectives we put comma so this is also one of the important we can say use of comma the next use of comma when two independent clauses are joined jo joins as you already studied the next use of this comma is after that is or for instance construction that means you, are, um, you already are familiar with this word that uh, that is uh, this is or for instance what is for instance for instance means for example uh, for example several vips attend the function for example or for instance comma the social workers the professors the ministers etc the next use of comma is to introduce direct question for example sunil said sit, comma sit down into double inverted comma or tushar said comma i can't engage my periods in question mark uh, quotation marks full stop here comma is used to introduce the direct quotations comma is also used to separate a city from its uh, state for example Sa mr sagar is from pravaranagar comma maharashtra here pravaranagar is a name of city while maharashtra is a name of state and they are separated by using comma the next use of comma that it is when a sentence uh, starts with the dependent clause the clauses are of different types 
that is independent clause and dependent clause main clause or subordinate clause and when a sentence starts with the dependent clause comma should be used for example last monday comma morning classes were cancelled see the difference when i say last monday comma morning classes were cancelled that means there will be only evening classes only morning classes were cancelled but when we say last monday last monday morning comma classes were cancelled it means all classes were cancelled so this is the importance of using we can say a comma how it uh, the meaning become changed the next use of comma that comma is used to separate the day of the month from the year but if only month and year is mentioned the comma is not used for example dr megraj was born on november 15 comma 1986 see first month is given then date is given then comma is uh, put and then the year is told but if the date comes first the comma should not be used for example the same sentence is dr megraj was born on 15th of november 1986 full stop no comma is used the next use of comma that it is used to uh, enclose degrees or titles with the name for example dr satish mbbs comma visits our college regularly so these are the uses of comma now the next part of this video is related with the uses of capital words as you are familiar with this term the first use of capital letter that every sentence every i say the first letter should be written in capital the sentence may be exclamatory may be command may be declarative may be positive may be negative so it do doesn't matter but the beginning of sentence the uh, the first letter should be written in capital letter for example i am a teacher it is a table this is a pen so first letter should be written in capital this is the important we can say uh, use of capital letter the second is the second use of capitalization is name of person or the title of the designation the name of places and the geographical entities the first letter should be written in capital for example uh, the prime minister of india is narendra modi so n should be written capital m should be written capital because it is a name of person and the prime minister p should be written capital m should be written capital because it is a designation and the t should be written capital because the sentence begins with uh, the that is why t is capital or when we say kolsubai is the highest peak in maharashtra so here k is should be written capital because uh, the sentence begins with it and it belongs to geographical entities it is a name of peak 
so uh, don't bother whether kolsubai comes at the beginning or at the middle or at the end k should be written in capital just like we see a peak uh, uh, peak of maharashtra maharashtra is a name of state so the first letter of maharashtra should be written in capital letter when i say i am indian so here india is a name of country so i should be written in capital so any name of the country the first letter should be written in capital or we say the ganga is a sacred river in india so ganga is a name of a river so g should be written capital the names name of all the rivers the first letter should be written in capital letter for example the name of the mountains the name of the oceans the name of the hills the name of the towns the name of the villages the name of the rivers first letter should be written in a cap in a capital even the name of the planets so these are known as the geographical entities the next use of capitalization is the titles of literary work or we say the title of the book for example pride and prejudice is written by jane austen so pride and prejudice is a name of novel so p should be written in capital p should be written pride p and prejudice p both p p r uh, capital letter written by jane austen so jane austen is a name name of the author so the first letter should be written in cap capital or when we say english novelist again english uh, english is a name of language so uh, e should be written in capital letters then uh, the literary works are name of the magazines name of the periodicals name of the articles name of the films or name of the days for example friday saturday etc the name of the months like january february uh, etc name of the religion uh, name of the caste name of the newspaper news uh, name uh, 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 headlines the first letter should be written in capital for example c works in tata motors so tata t should be capital motors m should be capital because it is the name of, of we can say industry or we say the restriction sansa is the uh, uh, biggest educational institution in asian continent so here restriction sansa r shikshan s sansa s should be written in capital and the biggest edu educational institution in asian continent so asia is a name of continent so a should be written in capital letter or the name of the season for example i love winter c loves autumn like this so autumn is a name of season so a should be written in capital capital letter or when we say he was born in april again april a is a name of a month so a should be written in capital letters and the word god always the first letter of god should be written in capital letter for example uh, uh, um, i uh, i th thanks i uh, or i have to thank god g should be written in capital letters or the names of the newspaper for example c usually reads the times of india so t should be capital india i should be uh, capital or the name of ship the name of aeroplanes for example uh, india bought 36 rafales so here r is should be uh, capital then the names of missiles for example india develops prithvi missile so here p should be written in 
capital letters we can say so these are the main uses of ca capital letters capital letters are also used with the abbreviations and acronyms for example bbc that is british broadcasting corporation the first letter uh, are taken and it becomes the uh, so in abbreviations in the last video we studied the difference between um, abbreviations and acronyms the first letter when it makes a sense of word it is known as acronyms for example bhel b h e l okay so uh, or u s a united states of america so u should be written in capital s should be written in capital a should be written in capital or mp that is member of parliament okay or gmt gmt means greenwich mean time which is known as the standard time or nato n a t o we have seen uh, in the last video the full form of uh, that is not uh, not atlantic uh, in the organization so the first letters here we we use that is the uh, capital letters and the last use of capital letters is the contractions what is this contractions contractions is the combination of two words for example uh, we say uh, we use this word high pi h i f capital f i so high pi means high fidelity so h i is taken and fidelity f i is taken and it becomes one word or sci fi yes s c f capital again f i that is science fiction so these are the uses of capitalization in english i hope you like my video or uh, thanks to spare time with me